All right, overall energy, Virgo, we are taking a look at you this week. Not your person, you. All right. Virgo, overall energy for Virgo. What's going on? What's going on? Oh. I feel like all the signs are trying to make decisions today. We have fork in the road. A change in the wind, no place like home, and mending. So that's where the fork is. <laughs> no place like home, comfort zone, or change. Do I mend? Do I heal? Do I put in work and effort? Or do I go down a different path? Some of you could just want to... Um, Heal some things before you go down a different path. So you go down this path like um, feeling refreshed, feeling cleared of any baggage or anything that's been holding you back. But let's take a look. Virgo, what's going on with you guys? Current energy, current situation. What's going on with Virgo? stuck in what you feel is a soulmate connection wanting to reconcile something could have happened where you're like this person could have done something where you're kind of feeling stuck do i forgive them do i not do i reconcile or do i walk away I feel like you could be looking at this like I put in a lot of work and effort. We we've made it. We've made it to this point and now this is like a big setback. So what do I do from here? Mm, I have the death card. Change ending for a new beginning, transformation. It's weighing on you. I feel like this is like consuming you. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You saw yourself staying here for a long time is what I'm kind of gathering. Like you saw this as a very long term thing for you. So it's very hard for you to detach from. I'm kind of moving more on the side of forgiveness and working things out and mending and healing. Some of you may not be in that energy, but for the majority of you that I'm reading for, I feel like you are more in that energy of working things out. Let's see. What are your blockages or obstacles here? Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, somebody could have been juggling and that could have caused this whole, this whole thing. You could feel like a fool. Like if I take this person back, I'm gonna, I'm, am I a fool? Do I end it? Do I take this leap? Do do I? You're so confused. Because <laughs> you love this person and you saw a future with this person. You could have already been like in a future with this person, meaning you could have been in a marriage or a, a strong commitment, planning future things. I feel like there was a third party situation. Third party could have been person, place, or thing. Um, so it could be work, it could be drinking, it could be going out with friends, putting other priorities above you. Uh, it could be anything like that. And I feel like it came crashing down. For some of you, this person, again, you could have been together for a while and this person just cannot, cannot commit. So I get a couple different messages, all right? So place it where you see fit. Some of you were in a long-term committed relationship with this person and they screwed up. Others of you, this person was more like a player or you were together, but you weren't. And they just, they can't give you more. Still saw a future with them though. All right, so what does that mean for cancer? Could be dealing with a fire sign. Doesn't have to be though. Could be a water sign as well. You're, oh, see, be careful. You're making decisions. 
You're making emotional decisions. You're not following your intuition. Strong water energy. All right. Uh, I mean, I'll give you this. I feel like you're taking your time to make these decisions, but you are ignoring your intuition. We do that out of fear, out of heartache, pain, disappointment. You know, I mean, we're all guilty of it where we think we're making the right choice or a fight or flight energy takes over and, oh, I feel it in my gut. This is right. This is right. But is it? Because I feel like... Mm, you're just not following your intuition here. So what is the right answer? What should you do? I can't tell you what to do. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Um, so make your own choices, but advice here. You can forgive this person down the road, but I feel like right now you need to take some time out for yourself uh, and you need to heal. And I feel like you need to let this person be alone to to realize what they've lost and to miss you so i feel like that's that's the best approach here um i know it's scary because it's like well what if i walk away from this and let go of this and this person goes off with this other person or they meet somebody new and then i'm left behind yeah that could happen but very strongly here i feel like it may not i feel like it may wake this person up to where they're going to realize what they did how sorry they am they are am how sorry they are and what they need to do to get you back and rebuild trust you don't have to take them back but it could be here but i, I you got to take some time to reflect some of you you're too hurt and you are ending this so whatever category you fall into. Some of you don't even want to talk to this person. Some of you are like, "I'm this is done. You hurt me. I'm not doing this again. All right. I feel like the best advice here is to just take that time to yourself and reflect on what it is you really want to do. You're going to have to ask yourself a lot of questions here. Can I forgive them? What really went wrong? What really happened? What were, what were they thinking? Like, why? Why did this happen? You, you know what I mean? I feel like you're going to have to kind of put together some puzzle pieces here to get some clarity. All right. Send fifth, spend 15 minutes writing a list of everything that's bothering you and then throw the list away. <laughs> get it out on paper. Throw it away. If you need to let out your anger, scream into a pillow. There's definitely something like that needs to just be released here. Probably anger, hurt, pain, disappointment, confusion, all of all of that. And that's why you're not following your intuition because all of that is fogging you. All right, find love. Sorry, my bad. It's cursive, so it's like sometimes a little difficult. Um, find five unexpected beautiful things on your way to work. If things get overwhelming, give yourself permission to leave the situation, take a breather, and come back to it later. Exactly. All right. Here go. Messages. You decide your vibe. Nobody else is responsible, only you. All right. Never lose your sense of wonder. Loving yourself is the greatest resolution. Uh, there's always something good coming to you. People aren't meant to be perfect. I just said that. I was just talking about that.
All right, any good deeds that Virgo could do? Cut back your use of paper products. <laughs> Uh, donate some non-perishable items to a local food bank. Check first to see what they need most. Um, put together a surprise care package for a friend. Help someone achieve a goal. Next time you go out to eat, tip your server a little extra. All right. Virgo, that's what I got for you. 